Imagine waking up in the middle of Siberia on June 30, 1908. The sky is blue, a taiga, quiet life as usual. Suddenly a blinding streak flashes across the heavens. This is described it as a fireball brighter than the sun. Yet some thought it was the end of the world. Others prayed, frozen in terror. Then came the explosion. A shockwave ripped through the earth. Trees flattened in all directions for hundreds of miles. Villages shook as if struck by an earthquake. Windows shattered as far as 500 miles away. Herds of reindeer were killed instantly. A deafening roar echoed like thunder. People were thrown off their feet. Some described it as being hit by invisible fists. For many, the world went white, then black. Birds fell silent. Animals bolted in blind panic. Fires ignited across the taiga. The ground trembled like it would split apart. Eyewitnesses in nearby villages said the sky burst into flames. A farmer 40 miles away was blown off his porch. His crops flattened instantly. Local hunters thought the sun had exploded. One reported the air itself felt like it was burning. Scientists later measured the energy of the blast. It equaled 15 megatons of TNT. That's 1,000 times stronger than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. Yet this was 1908, decades before nuclear weapons. The explosion flattened 800 square miles of forest. 80 million trees lay pointing away from the blast center. The devastation was nearly incomprehensible. Aerial photos taken years later showed a massive butterfly pattern. The ground zero, empty, no crater, no meteorite fragments, no clear evidence of what hit, only scorched earth in silence. Survivors stumbled in shock, some lost consciousness from the pressure wave. Others claimed strange burns appeared on their skin, smoke columns drifted into the atmosphere, the sky glowed at night for weeks. People in London could read newspapers at midnight without lamps. Astronomers puzzled over glowing clouds high above the Earth. Was it volcanic ash? Was it comet dust? Or something far stranger?